Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing an oracle reading for you using the Sacred Rebels by Elena Fairchild. I hope that you're doing good. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for hanging out and I hope that you enjoy this reading. Pisces. Pisces, Pisces. Universe, please bring in the most relevant and important messages for Pisces from this deck. What is it that Pisces needs to hear right now? What is it that Pisces needs to hear? Heaven sent, card number 33, and faith in the process at the bottom of the deck. Lovely. Heaven sent. Something heaven sent is reaching you. You may be heaven sent for someone else, Pisces. Let's see. So the number 33 could be very relevant for you. You may be seeing 33 everywhere. <laughs> everywhere where there's numbers, you may be seeing three and or two. And they may be repeating numbers. Also 23, 32. So as you guys know, these are kind of long. These are readings, you know, a complete reading in each card, just by the info in the booklet. So to honor the author, which is one of my favorites, we're going to read word by word. Now, if this is not your kind of reading, I totally understand, but I would highly suggest you check it out because sometimes these readings are better than mine, <laughs> for real. So just, you know, um, stick around, see if you like them. All right, so just as we receive gifts in the physical world through the thoughtfulness of others to acknowledge how much we mean to them, so too we receive gifts on other levels, including the spiritual realm. A spiritual gift is something that happens through grace. We can ask for help and it may be given in response to that request. All requests for help are answered. A spiritual gift can also be given without us asking for anything at all at least not consciously. Sometimes it is our hearts that cry out for help. While we're busy getting on with our to-do list, we don't often stop to think about what our heart might need. If we do and an immediate solution is not obvious, we just get on with life, you know, either letting the issue be or taking the more painful option of dwelling on dwelling on it without seeing how it may be resolved, which is not really productive. <laughs> However, there is a loving benevolence in life that knows exactly what we need and how it can best come to us, even when we're not quite so clear. This force actively seeks to assist us in walking our life path. That loving sweetness is being offered to you now, or soon will be, in the form of a spiritual gift. Your spiritual gift may be symbolic. It may be something that seems ordinary but holds a lot of meaning to you. It might be an object that catches your eye and mesmerizes you. Um, you might think you're appreciating how lovely it looks, but it is an underlining energy that captures you. Something in the appearance, color, or shape speaks to you and perhaps answering an unspoken prayer. It is not the object that is the gift, that is just the wrapping. The actual gift is subtle yet effective empowerment. It is like a spiritual booster shot that helps you move forward in life with an additional sing, extra strength, and great peace. You will be empowered to accomplish tasks that you may have nearly but not quite been able to manage on your own through the bestowal of a spiritual gift. So I would say major breakthroughs, basically. The spiritual gift may or may not be recognizable to you. It may be very obvious and offer a windfall, a trip, a friendship, a new lover, or a rem remarkable healing in a current relationship. It might be far more subtle and even more powerful, such as a jolt of energy that allows you to perceive things differently all of a sudden and perhaps solve a problem that has been plaguing you. It will be bestowed as and when it is needed in the form that will best serve the love in you. This oracle also brings the message, let yourself be helped. 
Assistance is coming your way, so act on it and say yes. If you have also drawn the Oracle of the Collaborative Dreaming, which we have not, then the message is amplified. It is very significant as the assistance is coming from the hand of life itself, so trust it. And I'm getting in my mind uh, the Ace of Pentacles. So that hand of the universe extending out and bringing you this pentacle, this abundance, this success, even good health in the physical realm. This oracle also comes with the message that you are to trust in the things that you feel and say to others without knowing why. It moves them. You might not understand, but through trust, you are allowing yourself to not overthink and censor yourself. As such, you're able to become a vessel through which the spiritual gift can be passed on to others. So don't block yourself. Let life happen through you. Only benefit can come from this. If you have drawn any other card in addition to this one, it acts as a wild card and an amplifier. Wow, so look at the one we, we got here. Faith in the process. Wow, okay, cool. <laughs> Whatever you draw, the Oracle of Heaven sent in addition to another card, the universe really wants your attention. It is saying, look, love is speaking to you directly here, so pay attention. Really feel the truth of what is being said and trusted. You are being helped. It is simple to receive the gift that is headed your way. The healing process below will activate that for you. So for those of you that would like to join this healing process, just say out loud, through unconditional love, I now accept the spiritual gifts that are bestowed upon me. With complete trust and gratitude, so be it. Heaven sent. So have faith in the process, Pisces. Things that you are not counting on, things that would blow your mind, things that, you know, gifts that you're not expecting but can only dream of, are arriving here. Trust the process. Allow things to unfold in the way that is divinely perfect here. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on to this second card, faith in the process. Some of you may feel like you're going backwards because we did get 33 and then 32. Some of you may feel like you are going backwards. Faith in the process. Trust that even if you were to go backwards, it is not a failure. It is not an accident. Everything is happening as it needs to. And you are receiving these gifts. No matter how powerful we are, how much courage and strength we have, there are times when we, quite, we can't quite move ourselves along to the next phase of life or creative exploration. At such times, we need some divine intervention, a little help in pulling our trolley along, so to speak. When we are on the edge of our own limits and have no more personal resources, we might be left with only one spiritual power, and that is faith. Fortunately, that is enough. As unlikely as it may seem, the invisible help from the universe is often more powerful than the physical efforts of a thousand men. That is so true. <laughs> that is because the invisible help is not limited by physical laws. It can shift, bend, and move in ways that define, defy limitation. It can affect, evoke, and influence situations through the invisible, but undeniably persuave, blah, blah, persuasive means. <laughs> you are in a situation where you cannot set the right course of events all by yourself. This is not an indication that you have done something wrong, nor does this suggest that you are not strong enough. It is a sign that there is something bigger unfolding in your life, and your willpower will be supplemented by the power of life itself. Sometimes a bigger plan needs to manifest for the benefit of humanity and the earth. You need to shift your perspective to realize that you are a part of a greater unfoldment of life. That your individual life serves the greater plan and that you're not separate from this genius. 
This is what is happening now. You happen to be instrumental to the greater plan, and as such, you need to accept your position and be moved. While also being empowered and protected as you make personal progress through your role in that grander scheme. <laughs> Today, the message in my planner, let me verify that. I rarely ever see that word scheme and the message to the quote for today my planner um, is coffee first schemes later <laughs> so it's kind of intriguing that that word is coming up again here it may be synchronistic for some of you I don't know it's worth the it's worth sharing anyway this is a time for humility and trust you need complete faith in the processes and events that are happening there is nothing to worry about. You will be moved most fully and easily with the most grace and assistance through your faithful surrender. Ironically, it is through complete surrender in total faith that we become the most empowered. When we're no longer trying to impede the perfection of the greater plan, we can be aligned with and moved by the process. Having faith in the benevolence of life rather than harboring the suspicion that life is seeking to catch us out have a joke at our expense, or carelessly toss about as though we mean nothing. Toss us about as though we mean nothing. Then we can relax a little bit. Having faith in the process gives you space to be curious about what is taking place and to relax enough to be open to what we are most in need of, even if we aren't exactly sure what that is or how it can happen. The guidance from this oracle comes direct from the greater source of life itself. There is now an opportunity for you to be moved from the situation you're currently in to the next chapter in your life story. You can't do it on your own. It is too big a shift. It needs the grace of life to intervene on your behalf. You will need faith, though. You may feel as though the wheels of your trolley are coming off and that they are a bit rickety, but... You must also understand that the voice of life is now coming straight to your heart with this message. I have resources you know not of. It is safe to trust in my ways and in my wisdom, for I love you and I am guiding you into all that is rightfully yours. Know that what is rightfully yours is what your heart truly desires and you need not fear loss. Nothing that is meant to come to you will be denied, and it is safe for you to let go and allow me to move you. Through faith, peace is restored, and you're able to know this, and perhaps have some fun in the process. Now, if you want to go through with the healing process in this particular card, just say out loud, I now ask that all disappointing experiences of the past that have led me to believe that life is not trustworthy or that faith is a silly or immature way to deal with life be released from my mind, body, and heart. I ask for help to accept that I can and will attract all that it is needed into my life at the perfect time and in the perfect way. I ask to be empowered to absolutely receive all that can assist me with gratitude and without shame or guilt. In doing so, I dedicate myself to be a clear, loving, open channel for the flow of life. I know the benefit in doing so is not limited to me, but will flow so that life can benefit others through me. I trust in this now. Through unconditional love, so be it. So the additional little message here is you have completed your healing process. If needed, repeat the above prayer each day to help you boost your confidence that everything can and will sort itself out. Whether you feel in control or not, in fact, 
It can do so more easily when you don't feel in control, actually. <sighs> beautiful, 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 beautiful Pisces. So surrender because there are heaven sent beautiful gifts coming. Okay? Don't doubt it. Don't doubt it. I love you so much, and I'll see you in our next reading, Pisces. Know that for those of you who are interested in the 2024 month by month uh, personalized forecast based on your energy, not necessarily your sign, not necessarily any collective, but your story alone, um, there is a big, big discount all the way up until September 15th. After that, you're gonna miss basically the 75 bucks discount. So please go ahead and check that out. It's a big, big chunk of the price. So you're not going to regret um, booking it early this year and receiving it a little early too. It's going to be a win-win situation for all of us to have a little bit more time to complete those forecasts. I love you so much. I'm going to leave the info below and I'll see you in the next reading, my beautiful Pisces. Bye!